20 states suing the Trump administration tonight over Obamacare. They say they've got the key to ending the controversial health insurance program for good. And it's all possible, apparently, because of the tax bill that just passed Congress. Leading the charge, Texas Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton and Wisconsin Republican Attorney General Brad Schimmel. Great to have you both with us, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you, Shannon. Okay, so people understand, I'm going to set this up by reading a part of the 2012 decision from the Supreme Court that upheld this whole thing. This is written by the Chief Justice. He said, the federal government doesn't have the power to order people to buy health insurance. The individual mandate would therefore be unconstitutional if read as a command. The federal government does have the power to impose a tax on those without health insurance. The individual mandate is therefore constitutional because it can reasonably be read as a tax. But in the tax bill that just passed, they took away the penalty or the tax related right. to the mandate. So what say you? Well, once you no longer have the individual mandate compressed with that tax penalty, the individual mandate is hanging out there all by itself. And as that decision said from 2012, that's not constitutional. And even the Obama administration lawyers conceded that the individual mandate was critical to the survival of Obamacare. Therefore, the, this falls now, the whole thing's gone. Do you think a federal judge is going to buy it? Absolutely. I think that he made the exact right point that Roberts built this whole case around the tax and tying it to the mandate. If if we don't have that tax, the mandate falls, and we think the whole statute falls. Well, and you've got 20 states total? That's correct. Right now. Uh, you only for now. <laughs> hey, he's leaving the door open. If you want to give him a call, I know that you all had worked to put together a big coalition. Um, are there any uh, Democratic AGs who will join with you on this? I can't imagine they would. No, even though we're suing the Trump administration, technically. Which is interesting. <laughs> I noted tonight that you all are, you know, you're suing the Trump HHS department. I mean, this and is the really, IRS. Um, so how do you think that they then defend this in court? The, the, I think they're going to have trouble defending in court. I think it's going to be a really strong case for us because it really is, goes to the very heart of what Robert said was he, he put those two things together and the very heart of their case is, is gone. So I don't really know how they defend it now that the, the tax is gone. To so, make this work, they, the Chief Justice yeah. had to build a box, right. and now that box is having a couple walls fall off. It's not going to stand. So this would take some time, but if it does end up back at the Supreme Court, what do you think the Chief would decide this time? These are his words that we read. So based on his words, I think we, we have an excellent case because he's the one that built this structure, relying on the tax to keep the mandate in place. He himself said the mandate would be unconstitutional by itself, and now we're left with the mandate by itself. So I think he's going to find it unconstitutional. His, the Chief Justice's reach to make this work was, it, it revolved around his desire to not undo Congress's intent if he could avoid that. But now Congress has changed their intent. They've changed the law. So I don't believe the Chief Justice will feel bound by do you, by the prior decision. Do you think that Congress knew what they were doing? Because it was just part of this tax package that they worked really hard to get through, but I never heard any scuttlebutt behind the scenes on the Hill or anywhere else about, hey, when we do this, it's going to give us another bite at Obamacare. Do you think they Nobody thought that told through? us. I mean, there was no congressman that called me or him. This was something that we put together as states, and there was not a single congressman that I know that, that suggested that they thought that they were repealing all of all, As a matter of fact, they seem to think that they really weren't repealing Obamacare. Okay, well, we'll see if a federal judge thinks that you and the 18 other states ha have made that case uh, sufficient for them. In the meantime, I want to ask you all...